Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Bridget Worry here. Hope you guys have in a fantastic Monday. Monday, Monday. I hope you guys had a super awesome weekend as well. And I've got to ask you, did you take time out to study? Remember, we must study. We must study the word. We must study the word. And we know it is later than we think. And the solution to earth's issues is Jesus Christ. And he states, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but should have everlasting life. And that is John 3:16. Let us bow for prayer. The kind of gracious Heavenly Father, I thank you for this beautiful day, Father. Right now, I ask you that you will decrease me so that you will be increased is my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Okay, scripture reading is coming from Psalms 119, verses 151. Psalms 119, verses 151. And it reads, Thou art near, O Lord, and all thy commandments are true. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and the doing of his words. So our topic today is beyond thou shall not. It said we are living in the age of great wickedness. Multitude are enslaved by sins. No, multitude are enslaved by sinful customs and evil habit. And, and the shackles that binds them are difficult to break. Iniquities like a flood is deluding or deceiving the earth crimes almost too fearful to be mentions are of a daily occurrence and yet men professing to be watchmen on the walls of zion will teach that the law was designed for the jews only and passed away with the glorious privilege that ushered in the gospel age is there not a relations between the prevailing lawlessness and crimes and the fact that the ministers and, pe and people hold and teach that the law is no longer of binding force? The condemning power of the law of God extend not only to the things we do, but to the things we do not do. We are not to justify ourselves in omitting to do the things that God requires. We must not only cease to do evil, but we must learn to do well. God has given us power to be exercised in good works. And if these powers are not put to use, we, we shall certainly be set down as wicked and thoughtful servants. We may not have committed grievous sins. Such offense may not stand register against us in the book of God, but the fact that our deeds are not recorded as pure, good, elevating, and noble, showing that we have not improved our entrusted talents, placed us under condemnation. The law of God exists before man was created. Let me repeat that. The law of God existed before man was created. It was adopted to the condition of holy beings. Even angels were governed by it. After the fall, the principles of righteousness were unchanged. Nothing were taken from the law. Not one of its holy precepts could be improved. And as it has existed from the beginning, so will it continue to exist throughout the ceaseless ages of eternity. Concerning thy testimonies, said the Psalmist, I have known of all that thou hast founded them forever. You can find this in Psalms 119 verses 52. So that concludes our topic today, Beyond Thou Shall Not. Okay, so we know the Bible, everything that God has given us, is, is, it started before we were even created. It started in heaven. And so it's in heaven. I mean, so like I say, we can destroy the Bible. We can do whatever we want to do with the Bible. But God's word is eternal. It's, it's in heaven. So there's no way that we can change his law. There's no way. So we either standing on the promises of God or we are in violation. So there's two, there's always two classes. 
that those that are on God's side and those that are on Satan's side, there's only two choices we have. So we need to make sure that we are standing on the winning side, and that is uh, Jesus Christ, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. They are doing everything that they possibly could do to save us, but we have a choice. Each one of us are giving a choice. We can either be doing good or we could be doing evil. We all have a choice. So it's behoove us, my sister, my brother, to stand on the winning team. Because yes, we might be doing stuff in the dark and no one can see us, but guess what? God the Father, uh, God the Son, they're taking notes. There are, are recording angels that are taking notes of everything that we do. So when we stand in the presence of God on that great day, and he calls our name what are we going to say we have you know whether we are saying i know some people say well don't give that to me you know you're trying to give them a track that could make them life to make their life better and they say oh no i don't want that i don't want that and most of the time you find that they want it because they don't want to know what they need to change in their life what they need to surrender in their life but they don't realize that whether you read the book whether you read the Bible or read the other information that people are giving you to help you in your life, you are still held accountable. You are still held accountable. And a lot of people don't realize that. But nevertheless, let us... Um, oh, okay. So uh, tomorrow, uh, we'll go into a review of what we have covered thus far in our lesson. God has rules to our unique responsibility. So we're going to go into a review on tomorrow. But here is the closing hymn. Here's the closing hymn. Stand like the brave. Stand like the brave. O Christians, awake. This the master command. With helmet and shields and a sword in thy hand. To meet the bold temper, go fearlessly go. Then stand like the brave with thy face to the foe. Stand like the brave, stand like the brave, stand like the brave with thy face to the foe. And you know, a foe is our enemy, right? The cause of thy master with vigor defense. Be watchful, be zealous, and fight to the end. Wherever he leads thee, go vid vigilantly, go. Stand, then stand like the brave with thy face to the fold. Stand like the brave, stand like the brave, stand like the brave with thy face to the fold. Here's the last verse. Press on, never doubting. It says, press on, never doubting. Thy captain is near. With grace to supply, with comfort to cheer. His love like a stream in the desert will flow then stand like the brave with thy face to the foe then stand like the brave stand like the brave stand like the brave with thy face to the foe so that concludes our topic my sister my brother so this is the song was or i should say him stand like the brave we all have to be standing for the, for the lord and if we see individuals that need help or maybe um need help we just need to pull them aside and just talk with them privately okay because we all need each other we all need each other and here is the thing each one of us have to win someone or share our testimony for to someone that they will make a decision to follow the lord that's why they said um there's a song i believe talks about how many crown how many stars will be in our crown because the stars will base on how many individuals that you have brought to the lord or you were, how would you say, that you were instrumental in for them to change their life, right? Because all we do is planting seeds up to, up to the Holy Spirit is the one that, that reaps the harvest, right? So uh, uh, is, is your life a demonstration of what God has done for you? Okay, can someone, is someone looking at your life and say, hmm, I would like to know what that person is doing or what she or he is doing, right? And so when we do that, then we're supposed to uh, point them to the Lord because there's nothing good in any of us, right? There's nothing good in me. It's just because I decided to surrender my life to the Lord and allow him to take full control. That's the only difference between uh, a person that's going to be saved and a person that's going to be lost. One decided to allow the Lord to take full control. They decided to make a constant decision to surrender their life to the Lord. Another group will say, well, no, I can do it my way. 
and then they go on that side does that make sense so we all have a choice so we all have a choice and i hope that you have decided to be on the winning team let us bow for prayer the kind of gracious and father i thank you for this beautiful day father i ask you right now father that you would take these empty vessels fill us up with the love that we need for one another with the power that we need to do what is pleasing and acceptable in your sight Father, if there's anything that we have done, Father, we ask you, Father, that you take us, mold us, shape us, Father. Take our sins, Father, and throw it at the bottom of the seat and make us whiter than snow. And we forever give you all the praise, the honor, and glory. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen, amen. Okay, my sister, my brother. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. So if this was a blessing to you, can you just do me a favor? Can you hit the like button? Can you hit the share button? And then you can follow me over there by on, on YouTube under Burdell Warrior and then hit the subscribe button as well. Can you do that for me? Can you do me that favor? And I thank you in advance for doing that. Also, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget, you are so special. You are so special. I, I sometimes, you know, if we were just, uh, how would you say, contemplate how special we are, contemplate the life of Jesus, his 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 uh, daily activity. What did he do? Or then you, you also, since we're coming close to Easter time, you can go and think about or read the story of the, his last hour on earth. And when you just do that, my sister, my brother, will, you will, I mean, it will pierce your heart that you want to be on the winning side. Okay, so let us continue to remain faithful and knowing that Jesus loves you, knowing that he loves me, right? And so it's love, love, love. So guess what? I love you. I love you, love you, love you, love you. So have a super awesome day and take care.